The island of Borneo is home to some of the last tropical forests on the planet. Nested in the Indonesian part of Borneo, central Kalimantan today is mostly a deforested area with harsh conditions for agriculture, poor acid sandy soils, and high temperatures all year round, where people struggle to cultivate the land. The produce is poor in nutrition, obtained primarily through the extensive use of chemicals and much effort. Observing, however, the natural regeneration of the lands devastated by fires and deforestation, one may wonder how bare land can produce, in a short period of time, a ground cover evolving into shrubs and young trees. Nature has in place the perfect mechanisms in each stage of regeneration. Yes, uh, If you look at it, uh, in each phase there is the perfect combination of plants that work and trigger soil life, that provides the nutrients for plant growth and the perfect conditions. Uh, so what we have done is to work along with these processes by planting our productive species within the regeneration process. Uh, this way, the productive species, they can benefit from the nutrition and from the con conditions created by the natural vegetation. Through harnessing this existing natural process of regeneration and combining it with the best locally adapted practices, Yum has initiated a feasible and practical pilot project for sustainable land use solutions to be shared and replicated among the local communities. Model agroforestry ini sangat bagus untuk dikembangkan di masyarakat Kecamatan Bukit Batu karena cocok untuk kondisi lokal dan memiliki beberapa opsi atau pilihan yang praktis biar setiap orang atau masyarakat bisa memilih sesuai dengan keinginan dan kebutuhan yang disesuaikan dengan kondisi yang ada di masyarakat. Saya sangat excited sekali dengan model agroforestry yang dijalankan di sini di mana keuntungan dari model agroforestry di sini dengan agroforestry pada umumnya adalah dapat lebih menghemat input, ekosistem lebih terjaga dan bagus untuk carbon rescue. Three years into its initial implementation, the project today has achieved rewarding results. A multi-layer and diversified system working along the natural regeneration process, drawing strength from the multi-relationship from its various components, as well as a good model for reforestation and food security, using sustainable principles which offer feasible solutions accessible to the community, as well as carbon rescue value and diversity increase. Kami memilih uh, tanaman yang mudah ditanam, mudah perawatan dan bisa beradaptasi di daerah sini. Kemudian uh, untuk hasil panennya itu bagus, nilai jualnya juga baik. Hasil panenan yang sering dikonsumsi oleh masyarakat. Saya tertarik masalah ini, ingin mencoba untuk kayak apa sih cara pertanian yang seperti ini mudah-mudahan kami bisa melaksanakan atau bisa uh, belajar mengenai pertanian yang seperti ini There is a lot of concern about the environmental crisis we face today but if you look at it usually it's all the conversations are held at higher levels the people that actually tend the land they are not concerned with this because simply they cannot afford to be concerned with matters uh, that are out of their grasp. We believe that if people um, can experience the true benefit of this model, then they will be motivated 
to go a step further. They will be motivated to uh, influence change. This could trigger a community-led movement to connect with other institutions at local, regional and maybe a national level because we believe the power is within the people. That's true power. Kami merasa tertarik banget masalah tanaman ini uh, karena apa? Karena kami lihat kan tanaman-tanaman keras yang dulu itu kalau sistem di sini kan dibakarin. Jadi sekarang aku tertarik kan itu menambah untuk pupuk untuk kompos itu.